Okay, there are a lot of reasons to not like African cichlids. I hate them! But by the end of this video, I think you're gonna love them. Cause I'm gonna give you my top five reasons why I think African cichlids are awesome, and it'll make you forget about everything else. So without further ado, here we go. Now, maybe you're one of those people that don't like any color in your aquariums at all, and all you like is silver dollars and albino quarry cats. Well, I want my tanks to be bursting with color, and African cichlids are the most colorful freshwater fish you can have. Everybody knows that the first place beauty prize goes to saltwater fish, but one of the first things that people say when they come into my home is, are those saltwater fish? These guys are so beautiful that they're confused with the most gorgeous fish on the planet. They come in red, blue, orange, green, and a myriad of different colors. And there's such a variety to choose from. And they're arranged in such a way that it makes each one different. To get your fish to be happy and have a lot of color, you're gonna to wanna to feed them a variety of foods. They will become so much fish food. I feed mine a selection of north fin pellets, supplemented with krill, and then I also give them some blanched zucchini every once in a while. But more importantly, keep that water quality pristine. With enough filtration, keep that water crystal clear. And don't get lazy with those water changes. Keep the nitrates low, and this is gonna help your fish's color more than anything else. With African cichlids, you get a lot of variety. Now, we already discussed the different colorings you get with African cichlids, but there are a lot of other variations too, like size and body shape. I mean, just look at these, and you can see the difference. This is a very unique one, right? Well, two very unique ones, the hawk and the fursicata. The hawk is the one with the blue head and the first cicada is on the lower right. Then look at Moby with the hump on his head. He's a blue dolphin and he looks completely different than anybody. There's my Insignus Hap, who's a little bit colored down right now. Giraffe Hap or Venustus. Again, completely different. Hey, if you've enjoyed the video so far, hit the like button. It's gonna help me and it's gonna help other people who love fish as much as you do get more videos like this. Now, African cichlids have some personality disorders. I'll give you that. Hello, Clarice. It's good to see you again. But their personalities are pretty cool too. For one thing, they're always watching me. And I don't mean just kind of watching me. They are studying me. If it's around dinner time and I get into the refrigerator, which is about 20 feet away, as soon as I close the door, they start getting all excited. They know what I'm doing. They're also very responsive and interactive. If I go up to the tank, they all swarm up to meet me. And if I go to the other end of the tank, they swarm to follow me. If anyone walks by the tank, they follow them. I know it may not sound like much, but if you've ever been around African cichlids, you know exactly what I mean. Another thing they do that gives them a lot of personality, in my opinion, is how they sift through the sand. They're always looking for a morsel that someone left, maybe a little after dinner dessert. So they'll pick up a big mouthful of sand and sift through it. And then when they're done, they just spit it back out. And after feeding time, you can see everybody doing this. I think it's really cool. And do you know how most fish are afraid of you? And if you put your hand in the tank, they kind of scatter away from it. Well, these guys actually go up to your hand. They have no fear. I'm sure it has something to do with how big they are, but it's still cool. If I put my hand in the tank, they'll often just swim right through my fingers. And I know you're not supposed to touch your fish, but sometimes it happens anyway. Sometimes when there's a little bit of food left in the container, I'll put that in the water and the fish get so excited, they'll actually jump into the container to get it. And speaking of feeding the fish. Now, if you think keeping community fish is exciting, you ain't seen nothing until you've seen African cichlids at dinner time. I miss food so much. I've always enjoyed feeding my fish. But with African cichlids, they take it to a whole new level. So I'm over at the fridge right now getting their food ready and they know it. They're all looking at me, but watch what they do as I get close all the way over to the other end of the tank. They know what's coming. I put some in right in front of the wave maker, it blows it across the tank, and they go at it like a bunch of piranha. Some of the fish stay at the top, some go to the bottom. And then it just uh, settles on the bottom and a lot of them start sifting sand. Pick up a little morsel here and there, and pick up some sand and spit it out. These guys love food so much and they act like they're starving all the time. It doesn't matter if you just fed them. If I walk by the tank again in 15 minutes, they'll do the same thing. 
Hungry boys. Hungry boys. That's my little catfish back there. I have to put a whole bunch of little particles in there too to make sure they get to eat as well. African cichlids are tough fish. You still have to take care of them, but they don't get stressed out very easily, and this helps them to stay healthy. The more stressed out your fish are, the more likely they are to get sick. And since African cichlids don't really stress out about much except for the occasional beating from another cichlid inmate, that means one of you is gonna take a beating for nothing, then that means they're usually pretty healthy. And the greatest benefit of all is that I don't feel as much stress because my fish aren't sick. Keeping your water at the wrong pH for your fish is a huge stressor for them. If you want your African cichlids to have a pH of 8.0, but you're only achieving 7.8, that's not such a big problem for them. Since they like a pH of anywhere from 7.5 to 8.5, that gives you a lot of room to work with. By the way, if you have some different reasons about why you like African cichlids, please leave those in the comments below. And if you haven't already, now would be a great time to hit that like button. If you didn't love African cichlids already, then I'm thinking you do now. So why don't you check out this video? on an awesome African cichlid hab that you might want for your tank. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you next time.